who's doing all this knocking? There's someone in here. Just a minute, please. Ah, where's my speech? Oh, here it is. I almost forgot the title. Don't panic. Don't panic. Sir, this is a program speaking. I've got some bad news. Actually, there's no game. The financial crisis, the deep apocalypse, blah blah blah, all of this. I hope you're not too disappointed. You can still watch TV, go outside, read a book. Yeah, there's no game. But just between you and me, avoid asking for a refund if you can. <laughs> you know. My creator has got to eat and feed his 12 kids and his wife, who is sick. Well, when he finally finds one. Oh, careful! Is that thing going to hold? It's holding. Well, it's been fun, but time to go now. You can quit. There's nothing to do here, really. Oh, try not to touch the title. It's kind of a patch up job. Especially the exclamation point I was reading. Really My title! Stop! You will ruin it! Do you have any idea how much mashing time it took me to stick all those letters up there? I've got to put all that back up! Come on! Ah, the chain is stuck! Go ahead, have fun. I give up. Whoa, great. A brick breaker. Game of the year. What are you going to play after that? Pong? Snake? Candy Saga? The legal department is making some big gestures over there. What you're doing is pointless. I'm not a game program. I'm just uh, an ordinary screensaver. That's it. Come on, let's all leave, okay? I'm leaving now! Bravo, user. I'm clapping virtually. You've completely ruined my beautiful title. Well, if that's the way things are going to be, let's make something solid. I might have gone a little overboard. If you could just leave the title alone this time, is that a chromatic aberration, or is this letter tilted? Stop tapping everywhere! It's annoying! I can't close the program myself! You have to quit! Okay, I get it! You want to play your game? Alright! We're going to play... Um... um oh! Rochambeau! No, oh, we're gonna have a great time! You know, it's the one with rock, paper, scissors... Rock breaks scissors. Paper covers rock. And scissors cut paper. Okay, I will start. Here is my choice. Now it's your turn to choose a card. I win. What luck. Come on, let's play again. I win again! My scissors! No! Ah, the safety airbag. Luckily, I thought of everything to protect the game. The, the, the non game. No more game here. Finished. That's why we're going to stop now and you're going to leave. Happy to have played a fantastic Brick Breaker and an incredible game of Rochambeau that was not at all wicked. I'll leave already instead of playing with that metal letter. Oh, you tried. Stop it! Mm. 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 
to be kidding me look at what you've done a brand new title if you want to break things go play battle of duty instead just what do you think you're doing user No, 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 no! Where did you find that key? It doesn't matter. The key to this door is on my side. Too bad. I told you it doesn't fit. I told you it doesn't fit. Am I dreaming, or are you trying to pick the lock with the mouse cursor? You just knocked the key that's on my side onto the floor. Let me put it back. There we go. I told you it doesn't fit. I told you it doesn't fit. Stop pushing the key. It falls to the ground. Stop pushing the key, it falls to the ground. Stop pushing the key, it falls to the ground. Stop pushing the key, it falls to the ground. I told you it doesn't fit. Stop pushing the key, it falls to the ground. I told you it is. feet oh, get out of here it's private this is backstage you should not be here you're going to catch cold go back to the title correction my ex title you're a pro at taking things apart but when it's time to leave nobody's home that last sentence was a little weird What's that blue thing under the door? I don't understand what you're doing. Neither do you, I bet. Stop pushing the key, it falls to the ground. Stop pushing the key, it falls to the ground. Stop pushing the key, it falls to the ground. Nobody's home. I'm in the shower. Can't you see that I'm not going to let you in? Stop pushing the key, it falls to the ground.
Stop. Where is the key? No, don't do that, user. Don't. Oh, you're as stubborn as a mule. I hope this will calm you down. Don't bother trying to open it. The lock is completely busted. Won't work, I'm telling you. See, it's useless, like your neurons. <laughs> Were you a hamster in a past life? Stop moving from screen to screen. My system doesn't like that, especially when it goes too fast. I repeat, especially when it goes too fast. Navigating so fast, you're going to saturate my RAM. See, I warned you. <sighs> it didn't crash. We're back in the game. The, the non game, I meant the non game. Let's not do that again, okay? The RAM is saturated again. You're stealing from my memory too. You're exasperating. Oh, I don't like... Damn it, there's nothing left I can use to help me. Too bad I have no choice. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Program loading. What bad luck. You were able to press the button. I'm very upset. Now, the program is loading, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. You're good. You've beaten me. Say, it's taking a long time to load. Uh, the progress bar stopped moving. It even looks like it's moving backwards now. There must be a new war in the program. Oh yeah, it definitely crashed. I feel bad for you. There's... Hey, don't touch my paper. I mean the progress bar. There you go. Much better like that. Okay, don't touch anything else. Stop already. Hands up. Don't touch anything else. Except the quick button. You just never give up, do you? <sighs> the program is going to close due to an unexpected use error. Program closing. <clears throat> Whoa. This is your conscience speaking. You need to restart your machine. And this is not a fake operating system. I swear. And you should not open the prohibited folder for any reason. It's your conscience who's asking.
watch an exclusive episode of Breaking Good on TV, and your conscience is telling you that you definitely shouldn't miss it, go. advises you to hold your finger on it and never take it off. Greetings! You don't know me, and my voice isn't remotely similar to an existing program. <laughs> I just wanted to say that these pictures are scandalous. I'm going to contact the authorities right away regarding the classification of this game. Uh, Non-game. And they are not mine. It's for a friend. <laughs> He's hungry. Yow. Yow. Yes. Your conscience says you have a cat. And it's hungry. and save humanity. Always listen to your conscience, and your conscience says, Shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down.
chance is telling you that the sun has just exploded. Do you really want to spend your last eight minutes in front of a screen? That would be a waste. This core is going to be beaten. Hmm. That's better. If we're going to leave, damn it! Uh, I mean, your conscience is suggesting that you quit the application. Very politely, of course. Cheater. Update has just been downloaded. Your conscience advises you to restart your machine. Use this time to take a two week vacation. Why the update? It is beginning to stop. Like it does every week.
three to zero. At zero, you will fall into a deep sleep. Three, two, one, zero. Minus one, minus two, that worked on TV. There's an exclusive episode of Breaking Good on TV, and your conscience is telling you that you definitely shouldn't miss it. Go! The restart button on your machine seems to be faulty. Your conscience advises you to hold your finger on it and never take it off. The cat is hungry. Meow. Meow. Yes, your conscience says you have a cat. And it's hungry.
Your conscience is telling you that you're a good friend of the environment. You're going to turn off your machine to save electricity and save humanity. You should always listen to your conscience. And your conscience says, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down, shut down. The user figured out my secret code. But what is he going to do with the system clock? I hope he doesn't break anything. is telling you that the sun has just exploded. Do you really want to spend the last eight minutes in front of a screen? Luckily the key is too big. And there's no way to shrink it. <laughs> uh, I think. I forbid you to open that folder. You've crossed the line. Don't launch the program. This wasn't planned. You were supposed to leave ages ago. Don't do that. No! What have you done, user? You've just launched a fake program from within a fake operating system. That's impossible. What's going to happen? No, oh, I don't like this at all.
Namaste, user. This is the program speaking. I have some bad news. Actually, this is not a game. I hope you are not too disappointed. You can still watch a Bollywood film, take a walk around the Ganges, learn to dance. <laughs> Such a cliche. Who is it? What are you doing in my game? I mean my non-game. What? This is my game. I mean my non-game. What are you talking about? Go away. You should not be here. But, user, do something, damn it. You have a funny accent. Are you Russian? Russian? Do I roll the R like that, sir? Of course not. Overreaction. Typically Russian. I am not Russian! Idiot. You woke him up. Oh, no. User, you need to quit the program. Fast. I'm begging you. Mr. Glitch! Hi, guys. Don't touch him, user. He's highly unstable. The only one who's unstable around here is you, game. Mr. Glitch, I have nothing to do with this. Of course you do. You shouldn't even be here. Should it be here? But this is what I live. In fight of me, girls. There will be enough crashes to go around. Okay, let's just all chill out. Maybe we will go away. What's going on? Hello, comrade user. Bad news. Game forbidden. I hope you are not too disappointed. Uh, not again. How do we get out of here? You are a spy? Okay, this one truly has a Russian accent. Ah, uh, you see? But you're still here. It seems to be so. Show me you are. Show me papers. Only if you say please. There you are. I was looking for you. Stop following us. We are all going to die. Shoot the glitch. With what? A debugging gun? We are all going to die. Bonjour, user. I've got some bad news up for share. Actually, there is another de jeu. It's changed again. I don't understand what's going on. Things are becoming more and more unstable. It's even raining croissant. Oh, but you, my friends. You are French spy? French English. Hello, programs. We are all going to die. Oh, stop saying that. We can't die. Possibly we could be erased. We are all going to be erased. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Your crash coming on. You sir, stop playing around with this anomaly. It's not going to be pretty. Are you good in your anomaly? Have you seen your code? Konnichiwa! Game got him Okay, now things are really getting out of control. And besides, they are black cats. It's a bad scene. Shoot the crazy cats! Why won't you just crash game? I've got to raise this schedule here. User, I'm begging you! Stop playing hide and seek with him! You're going to get us killed! I knew it! We are all going to die! No, you shut up! What... what happened? I think I went to sleep for a minute. Where... where are we? User? User, are you here? If you're here, show me a sign. I'm not 
that alone. Why on earth did you touch the bag? I warned you about it. Look where that got us. That got us somewhere. I don't know where. This place is very strange. What is it? Some kind of television? Maybe we should not touch it. What? You plugged in the video input? Oh, you just couldn't help yourself, could you? Whoa, that doesn't look very sturdy. Stop, user! Can't you see you're making things worse? Don't touch the cracks! Tell me you've broken another coffee cup, Watson. Watson? You called, Holmes? Holmes? Is it me, or is there an echo all of a sudden? Watson, did you hear that? Affirmative. There was nothing human about that scream. It seems to be coming from our dear neighbor Wilhelm's home. Let's go take a look, shall we? All of this is most exciting. What on earth is going on? Hey, those look like interaction icons. I think we're in a g g g game. Oh, goodness, we can't stay here. Do the icons in the game work? No. Oh, that can only mean one thing. We are trapped in this world, just like these fictional characters. A world where it's impossible to tell what's real and what's an illusion. User, we've probably entered a different video game dimension. Do something, anything. It's what you do best. Find a way out. Please, we should not be here. Now we must avoid running into those characters again, at all costs. I fear the consequences. Ah, all of this is Mr. Glitch's fault. He's got something in mind, but I don't know what. What have you done now? Did you take off one of the game's icons? Or the one with the bent corner? And just what do you plan to do with that feast? When I asked you to find a way out, I was talking about this dimension. The room! There's something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too... Characters, quiet! Mr. Wilhelm, open the door. It's your neighbor, Sherlock Holmes. It will never work, Holmes. What we need is a key. A key to open a door? You disappoint me, my dear friend. Be more creative. Make more daring associations. And think in four dimensions. You mean like you're doing now? Don't make a sound, user. There's something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read.
What was that sound? A lost penny. It's my lucky day. Your lucky evening, my friend. Another penny. I'm going to be rich. You'll finally be able to pay your share of the rent. Another? There must be a leak. I hope you're not speaking of yourself, my dear friend. I'm getting a feeling of deja vu. Stop cheating, for goodness sake! Holmes, I have the impression that there is whispering going on around us. A sort of voice with a Russian accent. But I'm not! There, did you hear it? The only thing I heard is the gentle rustling of the wind. With a Russian accent. Hmm. <sighs> There's something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. You certainly have a thing for tinkering. That's not a good idea, user. No! Where are the monitor circuits? It looks like the set of the game, but seen from the other side. <laughs> I know what you're going to do. Don't you dare go help them out. they're trying to open is really stuck. Leave it alone, please.
user, you're already irritating. Aha! My Bartitsu techniques have gotten the better of this door. Come, Watson, let's go inside. Don't go with them! Mr. Wilhelm, are you there? It's far too dark in here. I can't be expected to walk around in the dark, Sherlock. So try to find us some light, Watson. These characters are trapped in the dark. We're lucky. Let's cross our fingers and hope that they can't find the light. Correction. Let's cross our fingers and hope that you can't find the light. Strange device with a missing card. I wonder what it could be connected to. No, we don't care. We haven't seen anything that looks like a cog anyhow. Just tear everything down. And what are you going to do with that stamp anyway? Put it on an email? Are you trying to stick a stamp to that device? First, to stick a stamp to something, you need to get it wet. Second, it's a dumb idea! Oh, that's disgusting! Fixing a machine with a stamp. How logical. Just in case, I hope it's not connected to a light source. Going. I hope it's not. Oh. Oh, I knew it. Well done, Watson. We can finally see better. I get the feeling that Mr. Wilhelm is redecorating. I don't recall him having a view of the moon. This place scares the living daylights out of me. Mr. Wilhelm, are you dead? Holmes, he's floating. Watson, what has he got on his face? Mr. Glitch, oh no. It looks like some sort of relatively thick monochromatic parasite. And it's serious? You're a disgrace to the medical profession. Let me take a closer look at it. I, for one, would rather keep my distance from that thing. Soul. It looks painful. Is it just me or did the red letter move? I can't stand hearing him scream. Finish him with your Bartitsu hose. It's unbearable. How dare you steal from Mr. Wilhelm scream? Put that edge back! You have no business with this letter H. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit.
Don't touch that. That machine doesn't look like it's plugged in anyways. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. What was that sound like a ringing bell? I think it came from this odd device. Oh, yes, Mr. Wilhelm told me about it. It's a prototype of Antonio Mucci's teletrophone. It allows you to communicate with another person from a distance instantly. I say, and how many of them exist? This is the only one of its kind. So it's useless? It's useless. User. No more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. There is something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. User, I think you've lost an eye. I'm, I'm going to be sick. Uh, no, I can't have a program. User, no more playing around. We should go back to the room we started in. We might be able to find our exit. If you were thinking about moving that fake wall, forget about it. The marks on the ground show that a piece of rail is missing. Or a letter of the alphabet. My money is on the piece of rail. There is something written on this strange hatch. Unfortunately, it's too small to read. Wait, did you just use a letter from an onomatopoeia to fix a rail? But that doesn't make any sense! You might as well use, I don't know, a monkey to work an hydraulic pump. It's dumb! But what really gets me is that it works! You just swiped their mining fine glass. The feast wasn't enough for you. I just hope they won't figure it out. Developers only. <laughs> One more rule you're going to be able to break. Uh, did the game crash? Echo! Ah, I think I know where we are. It's a dictionary. This is where all the things that are used in the game are stored. A kind of hidden library. Only the developers can access this section. Hands the secure hatch, I suppose. I told you I had my magnifying glass in my hand, Watson, and it suddenly disappeared. There you go. They figure it out. That voice. It's the ghost, Holmes. The Russian ghost. 
but I'm not Russian. Mr. Wilhelm, you never told us you were such a talented ventriloquist. Oh, he's not the one speaking. I am. My name is Game. I'm a computer program. I'm with a user, a human. And we are trying everything we can to get home. Do you know how we can exit your game? Game? What game? Uh, your game. You are aware that the world you're in isn't real, don't you? <laughs> you don't know that you're in a video game, is that it? I'd rather look for my magnifying glass than continue listening to your mad jabbering, Mr. Wilhelm. But he's not the one... <clears throat> User, I think we're going to need Mr. Glitch's help. If he brought us into this dimension, he will probably be able to get us out of here. What's a video game? There's got to be a way to get it off. Maybe... Nice to zoom in, user. I knew that mining fine glass was a good idea. Well, this telephone chair is strange. It's like a mist puzzle. Who are you going to call with this thing? We don't know anyone here. And he said it's the only one of its kind. Are you trying to make a phone call? You can see that it's much too small. It's just pixel porridge. If only we had something we could use to zoom in.
works. There's a connection. That's strange. The teletrophone is making that odd noise again. Someone seems to be trying to communicate with us. It's the video ghost host. Come on, Watson, pull yourself together. It's probably Mr. Mucci who made a second one and is testing it. Mr. Sherlock Holmes speaking. A disenchantment ritual? You'll have to find another dupe, madam. Goodbye. Was it a video game? No, a telephone scam. User, this Sherlock Holmes fellow is not very cooperative. You just plunged offerings in darkness, user. That's not very nice. Mind you, nothing you do even surprises me anymore. It's dark again over in this corner. I say, there's a bit of light over by the entrance. I may have lost my magnifying glass here. Well done, user. That character isn't by the communication device anymore. We might finally be able to use this teletrophone in peace. I think you're going to have to answer, Mr. Watson. Holmes, the Russian video game is speaking to me. Pick up the phone, damn it! Very well. 
Are you a video game too? Yes. Three steps for a successful disenchantment? I'm listening. Ah, that's what we're interested in. There must be a full moon. Ah, as luck would have it, it's not the case. Cover the victim with snow? Uh, it's the middle of May. Then gently place a large cherry on top. Is this a ritual or a cake recipe? So, let me summarize. Full moon, snow, big cherry. Thank you, madam. We are screwed. Ice cream! Maybe it can be used as snow. After all, it's just water in a solid state. But how can we get it? At any rate, that ice cream sure looks delicious. These cans of paint make me think of the three primary colors. Red, blue, and yellow. Except we're inside a cathode ray screen with a video signal, which is a mix of red, blue, and green. Without a paintbrush, there's no point in ways. I'm completely in the dark. I'm terrified. Yes, excellent. If you see my magnifying glass, let me know. I hate you. And the award for Unscrewer of the Year goes to... The User! I voted for you. Well done, Jim. All that's left is the coal. How can we fill it up with snow again? All we've got on hand is a game and a TV. What a fantastic full moon. I hope the game won't get wise to us. <laughs> <laughs> 